Have you seen these cat beds? I've always thought they were a really fun shape. And I've seen other YouTubers and DIYers make them using twine and a beach ball. But I have a slightly different vision in my head. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I like to do a lot of crafting with aluminum cans. And normally I use the flattened sheet portion from the can. So I have a lot of the tops of the cans left over. So my vision was to try to make this bed from completely recycled materials. And while I did use a little bit of string and a little bit of tape, they were items that I already had on hand. So I truly did make this cat bed for zero dollars. It started with, as I mentioned, a whole lot of aluminum beer and soda cans. And the first step was to separate the rings from the rest of the can. As I mentioned, because I have already done a lot of aluminum can projects, I did have a lot of this prep work already done. And I wasn't sure how many cans it was going to take. So I just started prepping as many can rings as I had. And once all the excess metal was removed and I just had the rings, I put two rings together using some metal tape. If you're ever working with the rings, you'll notice that there's a rough edge where you've removed the metal and a rounded edge that is the lip of the can. And so I put the rough edges together and then taped over them to avoid leaving any rough edges. Once I had several rings assembled, it was time to go ahead and try to start tying them together. So I just used some crochet thread. You could use any kind of string. You just need to be able to tie the rings together at all the connecting points. So I started at the top of the beach ball and just started tying my rings together. It's a little tricky to work with the beach ball. It kind of wants to roll around. So I did put a tablecloth underneath it to stabilize it. And then I just continued tying the rings on until I had about half of the beach ball covered. Once that was done, I needed to flip the beach ball over. And then you can see that the rings are kind of flopping down and not holding the shape of the beach ball. So I just used a little bit of tape to attach them tightly to the beach ball and keep them secure while I continue to tie the rings on. I wasn't sure if this was going to work, but I knew that I needed a bigger hole for the entry point of the cat bed. And I have some coffee cans that have a metal ring around the top once you peel back the plastic top to get to the coffee. And so I used a safe cut can opener to remove that ring. And the great thing about safe cut can openers is that they don't leave any rough edges on the can or the lid. And in this case, it wasn't a full lid, but it was just a ring that was the perfect size to make the opening for my cat bed. When I started this project, I wasn't at all sure how many rings I was going to need. But by the time I had covered the entire beach ball, I used about 140 rings which was actually 280 cans. So it did take some time and you are gonna to wanna to plan ahead if you wanna to try to do this yourself. Once I had all the rings tied in place, the whole thing is still pretty floppy and the rings swing around a lot just because you can't really tie them that tight with this string. So I went back with more of my metal tape cut into small pieces and I just wrapped each one of the tied knots to secure everything a little bit more. And once this was done, you can see that I was able to deflate the beach ball and the rings do hold their shape. But I wanted to go ahead and cover the rings just to make the shape sturdier and also to make sure that I didn't have any exposed sharp edges from the aluminum can. I decided to use some plastic bags to make some rope to wrap around the rings of my cat bed. And it's a really simple process. You can just cut the plastic bags into loops and then using a crochet hook, you can spin the loops into an actual rope or twine. If you're interested in this technique, I will put a link in the description box. But one of the really great things about it is that you can spin or twist a little bit of rope and then you can continue to add to that rope and make it longer which was perfect for this project because when you're wrapping the cording around you don't want to have a big long piece of cording and so I would twist and spin a little bit of plastic rope and then I would wrap it around my cat bed and then I could add to it and spin more rope so that I had exactly the length that I needed. 
And so I was able to wrap this entire cat bed with one piece of cording. It did take quite a bit of time, but it was the perfect project for sitting in front of the TV. So here's where the project gets a really kind of kooky. I knew I needed some feet for the cat bed so that it wouldn't roll around, and I wasn't sure what to use because I also wasn't sure how to hook the feet on since I have such an open design. But I thought that maybe tennis balls would work. So I went hunting in my backyard and found some old chewed up tennis balls that the dogs were done playing with, and I washed them and dried them, and then I made some additional plastic bag rope to wrap around the tennis balls. So I just used a combination of E6000 glue and hot glue to cover the tennis balls with my plastic bag rope. And once I had all four feet assembled, I used hot glue and E6000 glue again to glue the feet onto my cat bed so that it would be stable. Because the design is so open, I wanted a pretty sturdy mat to put at the bottom so that the cats would have something stable to stand on. So I went back to my plastic bag rope, made a whole bunch more of plastic bag rope, and then used my hot glue gun to glue it together in a circular mat. But I still needed a nice soft plush bed. And again, I went back to the dogs. They're ever so helpful. They go through dog toys like nobody's business. So I thought to myself, I could probably repurpose some of the more chewed up and used up plush dog toys to make a soft pad for the inside of the cat bed. I started by removing all the stuffing from the toys and then I threw them in the washer and dryer. And next, I started laying them out into a sort of round shape to make the pad for the bed. Once I was done with that, I just tacked them together with some crochet thread and then hand sewed all the pieces together. And voila, the bed was done. But then this happened. So just when I was feeling completely demoralized and wondering if I had just wasted a colossal amount of time, I noticed this. Kimber, you don't know how happy you just made me. So the moral of this story might be that you want to use a bigger beach ball. Don't forget to check all the additional resources in the description and tap the like button to help promote this video. I'd love to have you join my YouTube community by clicking that subscribe button. And if you'd like to receive the Upcycled Design Lab newsletter, you can find a link to sign up in the description. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you back here soon in the lab for my next experiment.